does this for 12 rounds against Montel Griffin, he's liable to watch his zero go away. So something will have to change for Roy Jones in the next few rounds as he continues to develop this fight plan if he's going to have a chance to win. Punch me and then counter his counter. Well, that's always been Griffin's forte. Anytime he gets in an exchange, it can be even that he finishes it up with that left jab as he just did then. Throws four more jabs to begin this round. None of them anywhere near. I'm not going to be thrown off by any of his tricks. I've seen all that stuff since I was five years old. Not so many, though, have seen all the tricks. These two fighters don't like each other. In fact, after the weigh-in yesterday, Roy Jones had his phone shut off. They told really respect each other. A lot of fainting, a lot of fainting, not so much punching. The one is oh good enough cook. In a tactical fight with spurts of action like this. There you see a big it wouldn't shock me if somewhere in the house there's a scorecard that has Montel Griffin winning the first two rounds. Well there's one right here. Big. Once again, the significant punch landed in this round by Griffin. Some of us might not have thought we'd ever see. Don't sit down in the neutral corner when they pour water on him. So Montel Griffin got hit with the shot and he went down. I've got it 60. There's no chance of landing the jab from that distance. Now he stepped. Hard right hand by Jones. Griffin shook it off. And left hand counter shots upstairs. And then Jones having to take more and more chances as the fight progressed to try to get inside.